a ball is launched from the ground with an initial velocity v and angle theta and lands on a platform at a height h and distance l. And we're asked to derive an expression for h in terms of these variables. So what we have is h is equal to the vertical component of the initial velocity by time minus gravity by time squared on 2 and L is equal to the horizontal component of velocity by T which implies that T is equal to L on V cosine theta and now substituting the second equation into the first what we get is H is equal to V sine theta by L on V cosine theta minus G on 2 by L squared on V squared cosine squared theta. And doing some cancellations and having sine theta on cosine theta is tan theta, you get your final expression. A baseball is launched at an initial velocity of 30 meters per second at an angle of 60 degrees from the horizontal axis. And we're asked to find the maximum horizontal distance of the ball or the range. So choosing our coordinate system where the origin is at the initial position of the ball and the positive directions as shown and we want to find the range of the projectile so that will be x equals r. So there's only one kinematic equation in the horizontal direction so that will be r is equal to 0 plus the horizontal component of the velocity multiply by time. So remember that we can resolve the velocity into vertical and horizontal components and use trigonometry to find the magnitude of those components. And now we need an expression for the time t so we'll use this kinematic equation because the initial y position of the ball is equal to the final y position and we have the vertical component of the velocity and minus the gravitational acceleration by t squared on 2. So we can factor out t, solve this equation and substitute for t to find the range of the projectile. A projectile is launched at an initial speed v0, so that's the magnitude of the velocity, and an angle theta. And we're asked to find the angle that maximizes the range. So if we take our coordinate system with the origin at the initial position of the projectile and the vertical directions as shown, so the range is x equals r. And the only kinematic equation in the horizontal direction is this one. So the range is equal to the initial position of 0 plus the horizontal component of the velocity multiplied by time. And to obtain the range, we can use this kinematic equation because the final position is equal to the initial position and plus the vertical component of the velocity by time minus gt squared on 2. So factoring out t, t equals 0 at the initial position of the projectile and this expression is equal to 0 which gives us the time when the projectile is at its range. And now we can substitute for the time here. And now we can use our trig identity, so 2 sine theta cosine theta is sine 2 theta. So the range is maximized when sine 2 theta is equal to 1. Meaning that theta is equal to pi on 4, or 45 degrees. A basketball is thrown at a velocity v0 and an angle of 50 degrees. 
and the distance and height of the throw are shown below. Find the launch speed for the bolt to hit the hoop. So what we can do is take our origin at this point with the positive x and y directions as shown. So given that we have the horizontal distance and the angle, we can use this equation. And we also have the initial and final position of the throw. So we can use this kinematic equation in the vertical direction. And now you can solve this equation for t. And substitute for t into this equation. And you can see that V0 cancels, and then you can easily solve this equation for the launch speed. A projectile is launched at an initial velocity and an angle theta. Derive an equation for the range in terms of the following constants, given that the velocity is nonlinear. And you may recognize this exponential decay as drag in the horizontal direction. So here we're accounting for horizontal wind resistance. So therefore the acceleration is also non-uniform, and this kinematic equation in the horizontal direction does not apply. So we write the velocity as a derivative of the horizontal position with respect to time, and solve this differential equation by separating the variables. And integrating both sides, we can take the constant outside the integral, and we can use definite integrals instead of solving for a constant of integration. And x0 is 0 at the position of the ball, and x equals r, which is the range. So what we get is the following expression. And we need to substitute for t. So to obtain an expression for t, you can use this kinematic equation, where y and y0 are 0. And if you factor out t, you'll obtain the following expression. And you can substitute for t into here and replace v0x with v0 cosine theta and v0y is v0 sine theta and that gives you the final equation in terms of these constants